Both these teams are sellers, as Louis Castillo was already traded from Cincinnati. But I still like Cincy to do well in this one. Hunter Green is 1-7 with a 5.77 ERA and 10 road starts so far this season, while Garrett is 0-1 with a 3.21 ERA in 3 home starts. Getting on base is important to score runs, and there is a bit of a divide as the Reds are 11th in the majors in the last 15 days with a 321 OBP, while the Marlins are 27th in the sport at 2.291. Going to go with the Marlins to pick up the win in this game on the money line. Both pitching staffs did well throughout the month of July as Cincinnati pitched to a 4.04 ERA in the month, while the Marlins had a 3.84 team ERA. Looking at the last 30 days, both teams have been struggling on getting hits as the Reds are 20th in the majors with a .241 team batting average while the Marlins are 28th with a .216 batting average over that same span. Love and the under here. Two players we gotta go with. These are basically no-brainers. Marlins, money line, and then we also gotta go with the uh, Marlins and the Reds here under. But what say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Whatever it is you do, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. Get that cash. Smash that bookie where it hurts. You all know where that is. Right in the groin. Get it. This is Trending Rabbit.